Hello everybody, welcome back to Film Empire. I'm Jamie and today I'm going to show you how to achieve the dilated pupil effect. It can look like this. Now I achieved this effect in 7 minutes so I think we should start right after the intro. Now I saw this effect on the Film Riot channel, but it was a tutorial for After Effects, and as not everyone has that software, I decided to make a tutorial on how to do the effect for free in a Film Express. Start importing your footage and a picture that will be used as a reflection in the eye. Then right click your footage and make a composite shot out of it. Now I want to flip my footage around, so I make the layer 3D and set the Y axis rotation to 100 degrees. I also add the U, saturation and lightness effect to correct my footage. I rename my assets so that it becomes easier to see what is what. I add a new tracker and I'll track the pupil in the middle of the eye by putting the red box around the pupil. Now I add a new point layer to transfer my tracking data to. After that's done, I create a plane layer with the color of the pupil and I'll mask out the shape of it. To add a bit of realism, I feather the edge of my mask by around 5 pixels. I'll make the layer invisible for now so that we can keep on working. Create another plane layer, this time with the color of the reflections in the eye. For me, it is masking out a rectangle, but for you it might have another shape. Then I also feather this edge. You have to try out what amount of feather works for you, for me it was around 3 pixels. When you made the pupil and reflection, pair them to the eye track we made earlier by selecting the track from the drop down box next to the layer. As you can see, the pupil and reflection are tracked to the actual eye, however, the effect we want to create isn't created yet. The secret to the dilating pupil is the path of the mask. Go to your pupil layer, mask and transform. When you're there, keyframe the path option by clicking the circle in front of it. In the beginning of the clip I want the same pupil, but when the eye opens further I want the pupil to get bigger. As you can see, the pupil gets bigger now. However, you can still see that it's fake because the eye is just one black circle. The secret to selling this effect is the reflection in the eye. To make the reflection, we need to make a new composite shot and copy the eye track in there. When you copied it in, go ahead and add a solid white plane. Go back to your other composite shot and copy the mask we made for the black pupil layer onto the white layer. This way, we have a white spot that is identical to the black pupil. When you've done that, go to your first composite shot and add the new shot under all layers. You can also make it invisible because we won't have to see it. Now add the picture that will be the reflection in the eye. Make sure that it is big enough to fit over the pupil when it is on its biggest point. Again parent it to the eye track, so that the reflection will move with the eye. Now the magic will happen. Go to the effects panel and choose the set matte effect. Add it onto the reflection picture. At first nothing happens, but if you choose the white composite shot we made earlier, it will take on the shape of the pupil. How the set matte effect works is that it will key out the black parts of the source layer, in this case the composite shot. Only the white parts will remain, like the pupil. Make sure to put the reflection under the white reflection of the lamp. Now go over to your opacity settings and set it down to about 10%. Because we use the set matte effect with the copy of the pupil, the reflection resizes with the pupil. And voila, there you have it, the dilating pupil effect for free in HitFilm Express. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week, bye! Hello everybody, I hope you liked the video, now click the top box to see my newest video and click the box below to see a highlighted one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week Saturday with a new video.